Hey guys, my name is Adam, your friendly Sasquatch, and today we are doing a quick review of the DeWalt portable air compressor jumper um, kind of all-in-one emergency electronics pack. Um, I really like this. This is actually the same unit I carry in my car. And the reason I carry this is because it has all the features I'm looking for in a nice compact package that's easy to grab and go. And just as a reference, as we go through this review, this is the creatively named model number DXAEJ14. And it has 1400 cranking amps, which is pretty good. So let's go ahead and dive into this video review. This is a reasonably sized unit being 11 inches wide, seven inches deep, and 13 inches tall. The handle is good size, relatively comfortable. Um, I do keep this in the back of my car, so I don't typically have to carry this very far, but if you did need to carry this around, it is pretty easy to do so. Let's go ahead and do a quick overview of the functionality of this device. One of the things I really like about this particular unit is all the buttons are right here in the front and they're clearly labeled. Um, there's nothing worse than having an emergency, you're on the side of the road and you pull out something you've never used before and there's no labels on the one button and it's a you know, series of secret codes to somehow make this thing magically work. So DeWalt did a great job. Everything is labeled, super easy to understand and self-explanatory. But let's go ahead and walk through the functions. First is we have the air compressor. And uh, to set the air compressor, you just press the air button and then you can go up or down. And when you connect the air hose in the back to a car tire um, and then hit the air button, it will start the air compressor. And what's really cool about this unit is that it will continue running until the tire hits the target pressure and then the unit will automatically turn off. And that's really nice. That means this unit doesn't need to be babysat. You can just take it out to a flat tire, hook it up, hit start, walk away, come back 30 minutes later, and uh, it's not still running. It's turned off at the appropriate time, preserving the battery in this unit. The maximum air pressure that this unit will pressurize is up to 120 PSI. And you access the hose, which is tucked into the back, just by pulling it out of its cubby. When you're all done, just curl it back up and tuck it away. Pretty simple. Flipping the unit back over. Let's go ahead and review its other functions. Uh, first, we have two nice 3.1 amp USB uh, type A ports. And this is great if you're stuck on the road and your phone's dead and you just need a top off, this will definitely do it. Or if you're out camping or something and uh, you want to top off your phone before a hike, it will also work for that. To turn the USB ports on, you just hit the USB uh, button there and you'll see that the two USB ports have a uh, blue backlight in them, letting you know that they have power. All you have to do is plug it in, just like any other USB type A port that you'd use on a computer or a charging brick. When you're all done, unplug it. And um, these ports do not turn off automatically. To turn the USB A ports off, you do need to hit the USB button. In the center here, we have the alternator test. All you have to do is press that and you'll see the alternator testing uh, icon in the bottom. And the way that works is you connect the two alligator clamps to your battery and it will tell you the voltage that your electrical system on the car is operating at. So if you're seeing a very low voltage, something under 12 volts or so, you know your alternator most likely isn't working and you're running off battery power. If you're seeing good high voltage, something in the upper 13, the low 14 volt range, you know your alternator is working just fine. To turn off the alternator mode, just hit the center button. Something to note is the alternator mode does not turn off, and if you do leave it on, the display will stay backlit with blue, letting you know that the device is still running, and uh, that will slowly kill the battery over time. So when you're done using this, you wanna make sure you turn the function off for storage. The last function here is the light button, and that turns the two lights on the back on, which is great if you're trying to change a tire or something like that on the side of the road. Um, you would definitely want some um, basic lighting. It's not super bright, but it's definitely sufficient for close-up work, either um, you know changing a tire on your car, maybe setting it on the front of your car when you're trying to look underneath the hood, stuff like that. So it does serve a good purpose. To turn it on, just press the light button. And as you can see, the two lights in the back of the device are powered on. They're reasonably bright, but again, they're not the most powerful things in the world, but they will run for a long time. To turn the light off, just press the light button and everything shuts down. Now the final function of this particular unit are the jumper cables, which is probably a big reason you're looking at purchasing this unit. 
The way that works is you have this twist knob here, and uh, all you have to do is connect these alligator clamps to the car correctly. Typically, you hook the red one to the hot terminal and the black one to the frame of your car. But make sure you check the configuration of your car. I know some of the import cars are set up a little bit differently. In order to energize the jumper cables, all you have to do is twist this knob and you'll hear a loud beep. And now you have energy to these jumper cables and you can go ahead and attempt to jumpstart your car. When you're all done trying to jumpstart your car, before unhooking these alligator clamps from the car, turn the unit off and then you can safely remove the alligator clamps from the battery and frame of your car. All right, that was my overview of the super creatively named DeWalt DXAEJ14. To quickly summarize my review, the pros of this is it has a digital display, comes with two super simple to use 3.1 amp USB-A ports, can compress air up to 120 PSI, which is gonna work for most vehicles and trailers, has a nice blue backlight display, so it's easy to see at night, and of course, it can jumpstart your car with 1400 cranking amp, which can turn over most VA engines. To charge this unit, all you have to do is flip it over to the back, take off the rubber cover, and there is a 12 volt DC power adapter, and you have these two prongs where you can plug in an extension cord. Now, the extension cord method is my preferred way of charging this, and it does not come with a cable. So what I do is I bought a simple three foot long extension cable, and I plug the extension cable into the unit when I want to charge it, then plug it into the wall just like any other cable. When I'm not using the extension cord, I wrap it around the handle and secure it in a place like so. That way I always have it with the unit in case I find myself in a location and the unit is for some reason dead, I have a cable to quickly charge it up and get my car up and running. Thanks for watching this video review. If you found this review helpful, hit that like button below. It helps the channel out a lot. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so you're the first to be notified when I release new videos just like this one. Cheers.